Let's mukbang. I am hungry for today's mukbang, let me tell ya. And I am very, very happy because it is Greek food. You know, let's just start it off with the good old lamb shank, all right? Welcome to today's mukbang where we got the Greekiest of foods. Look at this. Oh my gosh, if it can fall off the bone, that would just be absolutely perfect. Look at that, that is delicious. We're gonna bite right in, I hope it's not too hot. Mm. Oh, it's pretty hot. You guys know the rules here. We eat it, we review it, and we rate it. The lamb shank, I am a big fan of lamb shank. It would have been a little bit better if it would have fallen off the bone. That is not the best lamb shank that I have had. Overall rate for the lamb, seven out of 10. I'm a little disappointed. I've had some really good lamb shank and this didn't live up to it, unfortunately. But we have these bad boys, some Greek potatoes. That's just a plain potato and tastes like a basic potato. Oh, Overall rate for the potato, pretty basic. Seven out of 10 as well. I don't know I don't know where these sevens are coming from. Seven out of 10 for that. And then we have the rice pilaf, which it just pretty much, what is rice pilaf actually? Rice pilaf, I'm just gonna give you my. Rice pilaf is just, it's cooked in broth. Well the broth that they cooked it in for this rice pilaf is pretty phenomenal. I'm eating out of my fingers because I didn't get utensils. Yes, I could walk to the kitchen, but why would I do that? when I got these forks right here. Get a fork, man. Yeah, I got two perfectly good forks at the end of my arms. Ooh, it's pretty good. Mmm. Honestly, 7.2 out of 10 for the rice pilaf. Mm. Oh, Jess comes in clutch. We're gonna hop right into these bad boys right here, some olives. And as you guys know from my videos where I eat food I hate for the whole day, I hate olives. I'll eat one though. Oh, there's a pit in there. They're just like too salty and kind of a texture thing. Ugh, rate right? 2.5 out of 10. I'm so sorry. We got olive all and then my cat olive. olive. Hi, olive. All in an olive. You what like olives, it? girl? Okay, up next, we're gonna go for, they called it a lamb pita. I'm gonna call it a freaking gyro because that's what it should be called. Mmm. Mmm. I love euros. And put a french fry in there. All right. This meat is awful. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. The euro is amazing, but this meat is so tough. I'm actually a little disappointed. I'm still gonna give that euro a 7.5 out of 10, but a euro can honestly be an upper eight, maybe a nine. But like, listen to this meat. The fries on the other hand, Greek fries, because they came with feta cheese on them, right there. Our first eight out of 10. We are in the eights for this restaurant. All right, we're saving that for last, but we are on to, what is this, the Saganaki? It is like fried cheese on, is it just straight fried cheese? Jess is Greek here, that's why I'm kind of clarifying with her. I'm not super Greek, so don't, <laughs> don't hold me accountable. True. I'm like, I'm partly Greek. She's partly Greek. Oh yeah, it's just straight cheese. Oh my gosh, so good. Mm. Mm. It's like a cheese pancake. That is amazing. Overall rate, dude. Oh my, I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. Holy crap. On to our last item, the dessert, baklava. I love myself a good baklava. Look at the layers on that. Oh my gosh. I'll be honest, not the best baklava I've had. It's a bit tough, kind of like the meat was. I'm gonna have to give it an overall rate of 6.9 out of 10. Anyways, that concludes today's Greek mukbang. We had some good, we had some bad. Like I said, I was a little bit let down. I tried a new place. I, I probably just won't go back there, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Go down, comment what you wanna see next. Where should I go and eat from? Let me know, where should I travel to next? We got a trip coming up actually to, you wanna tell them? This is where we're going, drum roll please. Tokyo! We're going to Tokyo! We're going to Japan, we're gonna to go to Osaka and Tokyo 
be ready for that content. It's going to be unreal, an absolute dream bucket late, bucket, bucket late, bucket late, bucket list place that I've been wanting to go to. I'm so excited that we're going. So be ready for that content. I love you guys. Thank you so much for all the support lately. Getting so close to 3 million subscribers. Thank you guys. Let's just keep crushing it. I love you, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.